Okay, let's start with a piece of paper, just like this. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it in the middle. Great, open it up again and fold to the middle. Great, now unfold it again. I'm gonna fold these two corners, just like this. This one too. Remember, take your time, make the foldings nice and neat. All right, once we do that, now we try to fold this other corner all the way to the end. Okay, great. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just fold them in the right direction and okay, close to touching each other corners. Okay, after that, you can fold this just like that. And then we're gonna fold, fold this corner all the way to the other side. Okay, just create those nice creases here. All right, press it down, then open it up. Now we have this nice crease, and this we're gonna use this as a guidance. So you see the intersection between this line and this other crease over here. So right here, we're gonna try to fold from this corner all the way here. So we're gonna try to fold it, just press it down right there and start pressing down all the way till that intersection. And then we stop right there, okay? Open it up again just to confirm. So there you have it. Now, after doing that, I fold, fold it back again. We're gonna bend this to be upwards, just like that. Okay, just to form this shape, then press it down and press it down here as well. Okay. We have this section of the wall standing up. Now this this other side as well, we have to fold this intersection to the two, just like that, and then try to fold it as well. Just press it down a little bit. Cool. So now we have it. Now this Section two, just to have the nice shape. Great. So now, this is one piece that we want. We have to create three more of this. So we have turn four. So already, you just follow the same steps and then you have um, this same thing. So um, I just did four of them already with using the same steps. So at this point, now we're gonna, once you have all these four, we're gonna put them together. Now let's start with these two, okay? All right, so they all have the same shape. So now make sure to follow this guide. So this pointy piece have to be injected inside of the other side, just like this, okay? At the same time, make sure that the interior, the inside of it, have to be always pointing up, always. So this one inside, well, the pointy one is outside, just upwards. Okay, after you do that, just put them together. And then we repeat the process for all four pieces. Again, make sure this up, and then while this one goes in. Okay, simple enough. Very right, great. We're gonna do the last one as well. No. Make sure this one goes up. Okay, it's gonna be a a little bit interesting, so I'll make sure it's pointing out. But the other pointy side goes inside. Okay. And the last section, the same thing. Just so make sure the arm, in this case, the arm section is up. Then inject, just slice it in. It's gonna be a little difficult. All right. Yeah. Okay. Once you get everything in place, just slightly push it in there. Okay. 
right? So now, once you have once you have it like this, you can either leave it as it is in the interior design, but for the most part, like you can also slice it in little corners. You see these pointy pieces that you left to be pointing up, just slice it inside the little pocket. It's right in there. You can do that for all corners. Just to give it a different shape inside of it. I'm just gonna do it here. Okay. okay. Now I just push it back in there, just to thing nice and neat together. Okay. So now we have like a smaller squares inside. That's a nice pattern. Okay. So if you flip it up, now you can see the little knot pattern in here. Okay. You can adjust it just to have the the center piece kind of hidden away from everything else. Once you decide that it's good enough, you can leave it like it is. Just like that. So you have one piece. Okay. So now you can also create another one of these, just slightly smaller. And then I already did one as well, so we have two. Now this one's a little smaller, just a little bit. So this will be the cap of it. So Let's just um, put them together, just like this. Okay. We just press it down, and there you have it. Yeah. Once you adjust it correctly, it'll be fine. There you go, and there you have it. And not a pattern for your box. You can also create some sort of a cut a square piece around this big, and then put in size of support on your box again. So um, you'll be a lot stronger that way. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.